my very first video by myself I have been in my family's I have been in my husband's and I have been in my girls but now I finally get to have one for myself so today I'm gonna show you first uh, the pieces that I have and then I'm gonna tell you what I make first I want you to try to guess what it is as I'm telling you the pieces so this is a front leg there's two of them and then this is the back leg pattern there is also two of these um, this is the front piece it's folded in half but it's only one only one and then I have let's see, one two four pieces of fabric for straps and if you guess that jumpsuit that I normally make with the um, straps around the neck and the back and then they're short it's like a one piece you guess correct um, I'm just gonna make it just how it is with this fabric just by itself I was gonna add another piece like a different piece to it but I decided to just keep it solid and we'll try it on after I make it and we'll see what it looks like if it looks blah then I'll um, probably end up adding something to it maybe like the clear panels that I normally put on the side of my biker shorts or I don't know oh I also at some point not today but I want to make a cover up so this is gonna end up being like a I don't know if you can see it but it's like a um, highlighter color in there to match the fabric that I'm about to make the jumpsuit with and it has like all these other bright colors I'm real big on bright colors so yeah. I know lately um, a big discussion that my husband and I have been having thinking you have a plan but that ain't really being the plan if you know what I mean like kind of like when they say like you think you know what's gonna happen to you until God shows you otherwise so him and I have been talking about that a lot lately just because we've been making a lot of major moves and um I'm threading the machine by the way. I'm changing my threads to match what we're gonna be sewing. Um, but yeah, we've been making a lot of major moves, a lot of um, risky moves, a lot of like um, investments and stuff like that. And we were discussing how like it's a little less risky when you calculate your moves as best as you can. You know what I'm saying? like you get what you put in pretty much Gerald and I never feel comfortable if we're just sitting still right so like we are believers of like um, at the point that we are in our life if we are sitting still we ain't doing what we supposed to be doing because time is money at this point right like right now ain't time for us to be sitting down and relaxing and enjoying time off like that comes later after you've put in work you know and I don't mean like just the chill around the house type thing I mean like the traveling the world and really resting the way that you're supposed to rest after you've put in work you know what I'm saying so it's like right now we're supposed to be using all of our energy now that we're young and all of our resources now that you know we have them because you don't always have the resources so you never get comfortable with it um but like just use all your stuff wisely your money your time you know your connections your everything use your resources wisely because they are all blessings and you know like i said time is money so i feel like the more you put in, the more you're going to get out, right? So there's no time to just be sitting still. I need to put in. I need to sow um, as many seeds as I can. Like I look at it like there's this open field and it's mine. It's mine. It's mine to plant 
as much as I want to plant or as little as I want to plant and I just have to continue to understand that the more I plant the more the more things will grow the more fruits I will see from my labor whereas if I don't plant any seeds or if I plant little seeds that means right like one I'm gonna have very little crop and then for two we all know that not every crop blooms so I have less of a chance so I just feel like right now all of my time should be spent sewing and sewing can mean different things you know what I'm saying like for me sewing means like um, putting in time to better myself in multiple ways and then it also means you know um, sewing into my relationships as a mother as a wife as a daughter as a sister as a friend just different you know different things or I could be sewing into my freedom my financial freedom like I was telling my husband you know when things when you've outgrown something or somebody or when something is just you know just not of your character I'm at that point in my life where you know the standard of living for me is not a fit for me anymore I feel like I know I can be doing better that and so that means I should be doing better because then that means I am not sewing into my financial freedom the way that I should if it's something about your situation that you don't like you have to sew you have to sew you cannot sit there and complain about your field being empty when you sowed three seeds out of a three acre field you know what I'm saying so it's like and then you can only do so much every day so it's like okay you got this three acre field and you only got 24 hours what how much of them 24 hours are you gonna use to sow your seed when you sow your seed are you fertilizing it are you you know needing it are you you know they say sometimes you should talk talk to things that need to grow because it just it helps them grow faster or healthier or whatever the case may be like are you talking to what you've sowed like are you nurturing it are you putting everything that you have into it because what you want to see from the ground is something you know miraculous like if i'm sowing a seed i want my plant to be top notch i don't want a weed you know what i'm saying so i see risk taking as something that it's risky but you also are in control to a certain extent if that makes sense I'm ready to grow. I'm ready to see newer heights. Um, I'm qualified and I am equipped and um, I just haven't sold enough. Like that's how I feel. That's where I feel I'm at right now. Hold on one second though because when I sew this thing it gets really loud and you can't hear nothing I'm saying. So just wait one second.
little, you know, ties in the back of the neck and here. Just something cute. I want to wear it to like a, um, I don't know, like either, I'm either going to do um, a pool party because the event I'm going to, it's a three-day event and it has a pool party but it also has a yacht party. And remember, I'm going to end up, hold on, I'm going to end up making some sort of cover-up with this. I don't really know if I want to do um, pants. I'm thinking some pants would be cute to go over it. Um, or I could even do one of those like, you know, like just a little robe looking like a kimono type thing. Um, I don't know, but they came out really cute. Um, I'm excited about it. Different. Well, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed sewing with me. I definitely enjoyed our conversation. And um, make sure that you like this video so that I know whether or not it's something that y'all would want me to start doing. Like, I can start making different things and we could talk about different topics. I have fun. So, if y'all enjoy it, like my video, comment, let me know your feedback, and make sure you subscribe. Anyway, I love y'all. Thank you again. And I can't wait to come back.